Now let's proceed to linear inequalities. A linear inequality is an inequality which involves linear expressions. A linear inequality contains one of the symbols of inequality which are shown below. Uh, the first one is a less than sign. Uh, the second one is a greater than sign. And this one is less than or equal to. This one is greater than or equal to. So those of you who are still uh, getting confused with uh, the symbols should uh, identify uh, as to which one is the less than and as to which one is the greater than sign uh, in order to solve linear inequalities properly. Okay, let's have some of the rules that can help us linear inequalities. To solve linear inequalities, we will make use of the following facts, one of which is given that A is greater than B, if you have A greater than B, then adding the same value of C on both sides of the inequality maintains the greater than sign. If the first inequality was greater than, as you can see here, A is greater than B, even after you add the same number on both sides of the inequality, the sign of the inequality doesn't change. It was greater than, still greater than. Similarly, if A is greater than B, in the second part, if A is greater than B, then subtracting the same value of C from both sides doesn't change the inequality. If you look at this one, here it was greater, here it is also greater, but you have subtracted the same amount of C from both sides of the inequality. Third, if A is greater than B, if A is greater than B and C is greater than zero, then A times C is greater than B times C, which means multiplying both sides of the inequality by a constant number or by a number which is greater than zero maintains the sign of the inequality. So A greater than B still maintains, it is, it is greater than sign when you multiply by a number C, provided that your C is greater than zero or the value of C is positive. But the, this case changes if the value of C is less than zero. If the value of C is less than zero, uh, the value of C is less than zero means, by the way, the value of C is negative. So A is greater than B. If you multiply these two values A and B by a number which is negative or less than zero, then the greater than sign reverses into a less than uh, symbol. So A greater than B results in AC less than BC when you multiply by a negative number or a number less than zero. Similarly, when we come to division of uh, A and B by the same value of C, uh, it follows the same rule as multiplication. If you look at this one, if A is greater than B and you divide A and B by the same value of C, provided that C is greater than zero, then the sign of the inequality doesn't change. It is greater than sign here. It's also greater than after you divide both sides by a constant, uh, a positive constant number that's greater than zero. Okay. And when you divide both sides of the inequality by a number which is less than zero, number less than zero means a negative value. So dividing A by C, dividing also B by C, C which is negative will reverse the direction, the uh, a sign of the inequality from greater than here to less than here. Uh, just to show you some uh, example, it is quite clear that 3 is greater than 2. If you multiply both sides of the inequality by a negative number, let me say you multiply negative 1 times 3 and negative 1 times 2. Negative 1 times 3 is, okay, I will leave a place for you here to decide what kind of uh, inequality you should use. Here we already have 3 is greater than 2. Multiply both sides of uh, this inequality by a negative number, which is negative 1. So negative 1 times 3 is negative 3. Negative 1 times 2 is negative 2. If you compare negative 3 and negative 2, it's obvious that negative 3 is less than negative 2. So here 3 is greater than 2. After you multiply both sides of the inequality by a negative number, so this, uh, the, the symbol of uh, the greater than uh, symbol changes into a less than. So your answer here should be 
a less than sine. Okay, the same explanation holds true for uh, division. It is true that eight is greater than six. Let's divide eight and six by a negative number. I will choose negative two. Eight divided by negative two. Six divided by negative two. And then let's see what kind of inequality should be used now after we multiply after we divide both sides of the inequality by a negative number that's negative 2 8 over negative 2 is negative 4 6 over negative 2 is negative 3 if you are asked to compare negative 4 and negative 3 it's obvious that a bigger negative number is less than the smaller negative number therefore your answer now changes to greater than, uh, uh, sorry, it's a less than sign. Okay. Therefore, you need, you all need to be very uh, familiar with these rules of inequalities before you start solving linear inequalities.